everyone. Myself, I am Uma and I have overall eight plus years of IT experience as a data analyst and four years of experience as a corporate trainer. I'm a Microsoft certified data analyst and a corporate trainer and currently working at Microsoft. Hello everyone, welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In today's session, I'll be walking you uh, towards another scenario. This is also a real time scenario based question asked in an interview. So first let's see the data. OK, let's see the data and then understand the case study. What is the case study? OK, this is nothing but a real time scenario asked in an interview. So let's go to this data tab. This is the data I have loaded. OK, it is nothing but an employee table having employee ID, employee name, the gender, hire day, department and job grade. OK, so this is nothing but an employee and his information. So this is our data. Now coming back to the case study. So what they are asking employee table, it is having six employee records containing their name and their details. Fine, fine. What is the first question they are asking? Return the count of employees who are having Kumar in their names. This is the first question. Let's go to our data once again. So they are asking something related to the employee name. OK, first start understanding the requirement. What exactly is the requirement? Return the count of employees who are having Kumar in their names. So on reading this requirement, you have to understand that. OK, I need to use count function. I have to use the employee name column. This is how you have to uh, frame the requirement. OK, and now if you see this data carefully here, you can observe that only see this employee name column because as per their requirement, this is the column which we are trying to use. So in this employee name column, if you see there are six employees and three of the employees like Akshay Kumar, Vinod Kumar and Santosh Kumar. These are the three employees who are having Kumar in their names, right? See here we have Kumar, here we have, here we have. So out of six records, three people are having Kumar in their names. Fine. So that is what they are asking, right? Return the count of employees who are having Kumar in their name. That is what we need to do. Since this is Power BI and we have to implement this using DAX function, okay? Directly you cannot say that, okay, I will count one, two, three and say okay three three records you should not say that right we are the power bi developers let us implement this using dax function okay? so let me select this table and create a measure new measure and i will start writing the logic now what they are asking to return employees with our name kumar in their name okay i am just keeping this measure name short what i have to do i have to calculate right what I need to calculate count of that employee names. OK, so I'm sel I'm selecting this employee name column. Now you can see this formula count of employee name. I'm closing this brackets for count. I'm trying to count this employee. So by what I have to filter only those employees who are having Kumar in these names, right? So I will use to filter this. If you see here, calculate the expression. Expression is nothing but count of this employee names. I want to count this one. So I have given this one. Filter in, by what I need to filter. I first I need to search uh, this Kumar word right in their name. So I am using something called search function. So what this function will do? See, it is asking some parameters. If you read this properly, returns the starting position of one text string within another text string. It's not case sensitive. OK, this is what the, the description about this search function and what it is asking the parameters. It is asking what you want to search. Find a text. What text you want to find? We want to find the word Kumar in their names. OK, within text <clears throat> where you want to search this word. I want to search in employee name column, right? So I am selecting employee name column. So from where you want to search? Obviously from the first character of the word from the first beginning of the character. I want to search, right? So I will give this as one. Say suppose if this value is not found, what should I return? If it is not found, return zero. OK, I am trying to close this search function and I have to close this calculate function as well and click on enter. 
so this is my logic i have entered let me see what is the value we are getting so i'll take a i'll take one card chart here and i'll add this employees employees with kumar name so we got it right finally employees with kumar name how many we have one akshay kumar one vinod kumar two and santosh kumar three so totally three employees we are having with kumar name so that is what we have achieved using this logic this is the logic right okay so they have asked the question and we have answered this so now again they will increase the complexity so one question they will ask and when we are trying to figure it out and implement that successfully they will not be happy with that they will still try to ask some more questions the interview panel so let's see now what they are asking they are asking to return the percentage of employees having kumar in their names here they asked count here they are asking percentage no problem we can do that okay now what we will do we will write one more measure select this table one more measure what we what is the name of that i will give this as percentage employees with kumar okay so how we will calculate this percentage the employees who are already having their name as kumar divided by total number of records means this 3 should be divided by 6 6 is nothing but the overall records 3 is nothing but employees with kumar name so this measure divided by overall records if we divide that and select percentage we will get the value so let's use this divide function numerator and denominator it is asking so what will be my uh, numerator which i have already created employees with kumar name so this with what i have to divide with overall records overall records is nothing but count rows this will count the overall records in the table so this function what it is saying counts the number of rows in a table rows are nothing but records only and what it is asking for some argument what is that table name what is our table name employee select that one and close this and close the divide function so i am dividing employees with kumar name with count rows is total number of records and i am using divide function now i want this in percentage so i am selecting this percentage now i have selected this in percentage now i will take one more card here i will drag and drop this percentage percentage of employees with kumar name if i don't want this decimal also just select this one and here decimal 2 is there right just make it as 0 that's it now if you see 50% 3 correct only right out of 6 people three people are having kumar it means 3 divided by 6 obviously it is 50% 50% of the employees are having kumar in their names so this is how you have to analyze the scenario whatever the scenario they give you need to analyze that and write logics for that okay so yes finally we have completed this case study so from this case study we have learned few functions right calculate function count function count rows function divide function all this we have learned from this case study so what kind of interview questions which are covered from this scenario the first one is what is dax data analysis expression so what is this dax and how good are you in writing dax this kind of questions you may expect uh, in the interview and um, have you worked with calculate function if they ask this yes you can tell that and you can give this example also whatever we have done right you can Uh, example you can illustrate this as well see here we have used right calculate function and uh, give me an example for count function so you can say what the count function does and you can give one example illustrating this use case and if they ask you what is an example how to use count rows that also you can tell them that we have already used in this right 
in creating the measure we have used this so you, this also you can explain that and if they ask the difference between count and count row that also you can explain them and divide function so whatever the topics we have covered in this case study same thing they might come and they may ask you in this way so you have to explain them with an example what this function does what count rows does for example like that you can take this case study one small data set you can show 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 or explain them orally verbally you can explain them like this is a data set so if i want to if i use the count rows uh, I will be able to get the count of those employee count uh, rows means the total number of records from the table I'll be getting. So like this, you can explain the um, all the functions, whatever the functions you have worked and the case studies also you can explain in this way. So stay tuned for more such interview questions. I will be posting soon some more questions as well. Uh, stay tuned and um, if uh, please do like share and subscribe to ksr data vision youtube channel for more such informative videos thank you